This is a Hyundai, people. I'm being massaged in a Hyundai right now. Oh. So when I saw how cheap the Hyundai Equus was getting, I felt like I've stepped into a bizarro universe where you can get an ultra plush luxury car that's also reliable for very cheap money. Sure, you can flex on a budget with a used BMW 7 Series or Mercedes S-Class, but those cost savings tend to bite you in the rear when it comes time to maintain it. But that's not the case with this Hyundai. It's, it's, it's a Hyundai mechanically. It's got a 5 liter V8 with 429 horsepower, but but it's still a Hyundai underneath there. And it has lots of technology and features that rival or even beat my Rolls-Royce Phantom. Shocker. So this is a 2013 Hyundai Equus, except you would know it's a Hyundai because there's no badges anywhere. And when I posted a few pictures on a friend group that's mostly car guys, a couple of them actually thought, just from the interior shots that I posted, that this was a Mercedes Maybach, and I'm not joking, but really this car is a total chameleon. It has elements of Lexus and Acura and Mercedes, obviously, but it's very Korean and cool. And with its vague badging, you really have no idea what it is. And with only 3,500 cars sold in 2013, they're really rare, so people don't know what it is. Now, probably the reason they didn't sell too many of these has to do with the sticker price, the ultimate package which is what this is, was $70,000 new. $70,000 for a Hyundai, which would make most people laugh and obviously not buy one. Now, it seems Hyundai got wise to this and decided to rebrand their cars as the Genesis. So the Equus name died in favor of the Genesis G90. The old Hyundai Genesis sedan became the G80, and now they're, or G70, G60. Oh, they're acting like European and Japanese cars now with their names and numbers. I, I can't, I, I, I can't keep it straight. But it worked, I think, except they didn't want Hyundai and Genesis to be together, and the Hyundai dealers didn't want to build their own Genesis building, so now they're selling even less cars. So maybe it was a failure. But the good news about this is the orphaned Equus has depreciated a lot. A lot, a lot. Way down from $70,000. And this one recently sold for $15,000 thousand dollars and if you look on auto trader there's plenty of examples to be had for under twenty thousand dollars and that's lower mileage cars under a hundred thousand miles it's 2013 five years old eighty thousand miles for 15 grand and it is loaded with luxury features that you would never imagine a hyundai having you'd expect a lot of these to be in the rolls royce but half the stuff this car has the rolls royce doesn't when i say it rivals my phantom i i'm really not joking i swear the engine itself is really powerful. 5 liter V8, 429 horsepower, which was bumped up in 2013, which is pretty close to the V12 in my Phantom that has 453 horsepower. And since this car is a little lighter, smaller, and more modern in the drivetrain and 8-speed transmission, it just totally stomps it acceleration-wise. But that really doesn't matter with a luxury car. You're not buying it to line it up for a drag race. Where it really matters is the quality and the comfort and the features. This thing has it all. And it doesn't sound half bad. It's... Now, I'll admit, obviously the interior of this Equus is nowhere close to the quality of the Rolls-Royce Phantom, nor is it up there with an S-Class. It's kind of more in league with Acura and Lexus of the last five years or so, which is still pretty impressive. Where the Equus matches and beats all those cars, which is totally shocking for me, is the smoothness and the quietness. I never expected a car to feel as smooth and quiet as my Rolls Royce or the old hydraulic suspension in my Mercedes S600, but this thing is really close, really close, and it has <laughs> a decent amount of punch too. <laughs> Jesus, hilarious. There is a sport button on this car that firms up the suspension. There's also a button that raises the suspension, like a Mercedes S-Class. Those are a couple of things that my Phantom doesn't have. The closest thing the Phantom has to a sport button is this low button, which I think keeps the transmission in lower gears. I also don't know how to turn off the trash control on the Phantom, but with this one, I can. And it'll do burnouts. 
four days. This is a Hyundai, people. <laughs> oh my God, that's way more smoke than I expected. Features wise, this thing beats the Phantom in a lot of ways. It's a much more modern car, even though it was designed around the same time as the Phantom. So I have heated seats, no big deal, but also cooled, something my Phantom doesn't have. And another thing my Phantom doesn't have is a driver's seat massager. I have two massage settings on this car. Click one and it rolls around the lumbar in a very, very pleasing manner. Oh yes. Then we have this fake suede headliner. Really nice infotainment system. Pretty shifter. Oh, but I don't care. I'm being massaged right now. Oh yeah. We have an adaptive cruise control, 22-way adjustable seats. I think the Phantom's pretty close on that. Forward and rear cameras, which the Phantom doesn't even have a rear camera in 2005, which is unbelievable for a land yacht like that. Now, the Phantom does have a few party tricks, obviously, some really cool ones, like the pop-up spirit of ecstasy and the flipping clock into the BMW iDrive, but so does this Equus. And most of those tricks are in the back seat, as I shall now demonstrate. So the back seat of this Equus Ultimate is the ultimate car for a Korean CEO. It's kind of a cross between business class and a nice airline or a Mercedes Maybach or a $10,000 massage chair at Brookstone. So the center console here gives me control of everything up front, short of driving the car. Right now it's playing Earth, Wind & Fire in September, but I could change the station if I want. Forget about the driver. Also have heated and cooled seats. And in here is no center seat. This doesn't fold away, but there is a button for the icebox. Yes, this car has a refrigerator. Standard in the Ultimate package, optional on my Phantom. And my Phantom, sadly, does not have it. A refrigerator, yes. But that's not this Equus's only party trick. Remember how I mentioned that Brookstone massage chair? Well, here we go. My seat folds away. Sounds like there's something in the front seat crunching, but uh, I'll take care of that later. And now I'm going to recline. Oh yes, we're not done yet. The reclining portion for my feet is coming up. Oh, and now I am fully reclined. Now, clearly this is for a Korean businessman since it's kind of short. It's perfect for my fiance, who's about five feet tall, but it goes further. Inside this top compartment is a massage remote. This remote is only for massaging this seat. Flip it on. I have vibration. Oh, yes. Oh, that feels so good. And then I can have different massage modes for my upper and lower back at three different forces and speeds. Oh, this is a Hyundai. I'm being massaged in a Hyundai right now. Oh, oh, it's wonderful. So relaxed now. As you can see, I am super duper impressed with this Hyundai as far as value for money. So much so, that I'm the one that bought it. $15,000 was just totally irresistible for a car with this much toys, just so smooth, so quiet, and I actually needed it. I had recently sold my Tesla Model S, and that was the primary driver for my fiance, soon to be wife, and she wasn't very happy about it. So I was initially looking at Mercedes S classes and then stumbled across this. It's actually kind of funny. There are rare cars, but the Lexus dealer in Kansas City had two of them. They had taken two on trade within a week, and they freaked out because they had never had one of these before, and now they had two, so they were looking to dump one, and I stepped in and bought the cheapest Hyundai Equus Ultimate package with the 5-liter Tau engine in the USA. 
That's very specific. Initially, she was pretty disappointed when I said I bought a Hyundai, but then I showed her the car and she really likes it. She likes it a lot more when I chauffeur her around on the weekends and she's in the back seat getting a massage. So I'm probably destined to do that for quite some time now, but uh, I really don't mind. Thank you for watching. That's a different noise. It's like they carved this car out of granite. They're really rare, so people don't know what it is. Hi. I make YouTube videos. You make YouTube videos? Yes, I do. Ah, okay. So you, they hire you from different agencies? So I'm recording right now, so you're live. Here, come right here on camera. Well, so. do you work for Lexus? No, I don't work. This is, this is a Hyundai Equus. It's a Hyundai. Oh. <laughs> I know your grandmother, Viv. Oh, you do? That's great. Yeah. yeah. Have for a long time. Now, okay, I, now explain this again to me. Okay. You make videos. Yes. Um, okay, so you do YouTube. Yes. Okay, but then how do you get paid? You sell oh, it. well, YouTube gives me money for, you know, they play oh. ads at the beginning. Yeah. So it's YouTube that's really paying you. Right. Not the... Oh, okay. Yes, not the car right. companies. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Great. so thank you for the gifts. Yeah, oh, appreciate welcome. it. Yeah, they yeah. keep coming in. Yeah.